Welcome back again, everybody. Uh, this is Glockman4519. This is another ROM review uh, for the Nexus 6 this time. Uh, seems I've been doing a lot of reviews for the Nexus 6 lately. It just seems like that this, uh, this is one of my devices uh, that has a lot of development for it. Um, but this one here is unofficial uh, signage in Mod 13 uh, by Team Asix or Team Essex. Uh, that would be spelled T E M A S E K. Um, I tried to do a, a video on this uh, a while back for Marshmallow. The problem was I couldn't get any screen recording to work uh, with anything that was uh, CM based. For some reason, this one is working, so uh, it, it really makes me happy because now I can actually show off uh, some of the things that uh, Signage and Mod has been doing. Uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and get right into this. Uh, I don't want this video to be very long. Um, and by the way, the theme that I am using, so you guys will know right now. if I can get there quick enough, is uh, the Euphoria Dark uh, CM13. Uh, this is the theme I'm using. Um, I'm, I've also got some other themes mixed in for the status bar and the uh, nav bars, but for the, for the base theme, it is uh, Euphoria. Uh, so let's just go ahead right into a bow phone uh, so you guys can see. Uh, this is uh, for the model, uh, this is for the ne Nexus Nexus 6, I can't talk, uh, Android version 6.0.1. Um, I will tell you this is probably an older build, I think they have a newer one out. Uh, this build, I think, is uh, December 16th, if I'm not mistaken, December 17th. Um, I am running... Uh, elite kernel um, I'm not sure about the uh, kernel that comes with the ROM whether it's uh, encryption forcing or not um, I, I, I'd have to read through the thread uh, I, and I'm, I will do that uh, I will post something in the uh, um, uh, in the notes uh, underneath the video and let you guys know uh, but for right now um, I'm running Elite Kernel. I just don't like to take the chance of having my phone encrypted uh, since I am unencrypted. Uh, that would make for a very bad day for me. Um, I'm going to have to go through some of the settings that I don't normally go through or that I used to go through uh, because that's just the way this ROM sets up their custom settings. Uh, under Developer Options, um, that's where you're going to find, of course, your Advanced Reboot, uh, most CM type uh, ROMs, uh, this is going to be where you are going to turn on your advanced reboot. Uh, underneath the advanced reboot is your system UI tuner. Uh, this is where you're going to go uh, if you want to add any tiles, any quick tiles, or take any quick tiles off. This is going to be where you do it at. Uh, you have that little button, you hit add, uh, pick what you want, um, and it'll put it on. Then if you go to status bar, uh, this, this right here is where you can actually pick and choose uh, what you would like uh, showing on your status bar. Um, of course, uh, there is your uh, root access. You want to make sure that you have apps uh, or apps and ADB or you are not going to have root access. And of course, Android debugging. Uh, if you scroll down to where you get into your Windows animations, your transition animations and stuff, that is where you're going to find your multi-window. Uh, that is right here. And last but not least, one of the settings that most people want uh, on a ROM, it would be kill app back button. That, that would be right there. Uh, and of course, underneath that would be the long press. Uh, where you would set how long you want to hold that button uh, in order to kill your last app. Um, let's see here. I, I, see, I have to try to remember which ones are ones that have the custom settings in uh, because there isn't any real 
specific setting like uh, you see Team Essex spare parts that has some custom settings but that's not where you know your you know your status bar drop down all that but uh, here are Team Essex uh, spare parts uh, you have your app circle bar uh, you can set that up if you'd like um, it's I love this mod uh, it's uh, um, you, you basically go in uh, pick the apps that you want um, and I'm not going to do a whole bunch I just want to show you how it works um, because some people may be watching this for the first time you pick them you say okay um, then of course after turning it on up here uh, you you would set your trigger width if you if you notice on the right hand side uh, you have that blue line uh, set your trigger width to where you want it how thick you want it then you want to set your position That's about where I would normally have it, right next to my power button. And then when you touch that, you're going to get this little wheel that's got all of the apps that you put on or that you picked on this wheel. So it's like a little mini app drawer. Uh, same thing with the app bar. It does basically the same thing, only it is a bar instead of a scrolling wheel. Uh, and you have your clock widget settings. Now, these are your normal settings that you guys would be used to, color, background, uh, stuff like that. If you want to run a clock on your um, home screen, uh, that's where you would do all the settings at. Then you have your gesture anywhere. Lock screen settings. Doesn't seem like, like there is a whole lot of lock screen settings, but at least there are some. You have your recent panel settings. Uh, this is where you would click where you would want your uh, your button at. Uh, you have clear all um, and your your uh, your full your recent full screen. I like that. Now I have noticed on here that I cannot or haven't found uh, the clear all button. I have it set for the bottom left. I'm going to change it to uh, default, which would be top right, and see if that helps me out at all. Uh, but before. I couldn't find the button. Um, this also does come with Omni Switch. Uh, I do love Omni Switch. If you guys haven't tried it, you should give it a try. Uh, basically, what that does, if you're not familiar with it, um, if you turn it on, uh, what that does is instead of you having a rolling like Rolodex uh, for your um or for your recents, uh, this gives you a bar that goes across the top. Um, enable and you just slide the you slide it over and there's where your recents would be at um, you can also have it set up where it is a long bar that goes across as opposed to that up and down bar but that's all your settings there and believe me there are a lot of settings you can really set this up to any way you like uh, I prefer the uh, uh, the lollipop style um, or a standard marshmallow style recents uh, where you have the um, <laughs> can't get it to come on now uh, where you would have the Rolodex type uh, uh, type recents uh, then you have your uh, screening animations um, I really wish they would have scrolling modifier on here uh, but they don't uh, they may eventually, uh, you know, on down the line. Uh, who knows? I, I do know that Team ASIC uh, usually does a lot of modifications uh, or customizations, uh, and I think they haven't they haven't had this uh, the marshmallow version out very long, so I don't think it'll be too much more. And I know that every release that they have, they always throw something else in it, so it's just a matter of time. But that was your Team ASIC spare parts. Uh, then for your status bar settings, uh, again you have your uh, clock style, uh, AM, PM, date, date style, date format. Uh, you can change the color. You, um, you can change your font style. Uh, change your font size, which I like. I mean, I, I love all these settings. You have seconds uh, showing if you want. Uh, then of course you have your battery stat or your battery status. I have mine hidden because I'm running the three minute mod, which is baked into this ROM. All you have to do is download the three-minute uh, settings from the Play Store, um, the purchased 
uh, settings from the Play Store and it will automatically turn on for you. Although I have noticed in a lot of the ROMs out, except for Dirty Unicorn, uh, that if it is baked into it, as this ROM is, it doesn't seem to be uh, as 100% reliable uh, as it would be if you were flashing the mod yourself. Um, I lose the battery sometimes, uh, and then it'll come back on its own for no apparent reason. Uh, okay, then you have, uh, you have your battery bar options. Thank you for that, guys. I really appreciate it. Nothing I love better than my battery bar. Uh, temperature, I like this feature. Uh, I, I think all the ROMs should, should uh, put this in. I really do like this. It basically gives you the outside temperature based on your weather settings, how you have them set. So at, a, at any moment, uh, I can just glance at my phone. I can tell what the temperature is outside. Uh, let's see, brightness set, or your brightness control, uh, your carrier label, uh, show notification counts, here's your quick pull down. Um, you can uh, choose to have a, a, a headset icon showing or the Super Sue if you want that showing. I don't. Uh, custom header image, I love this. Uh, I have mine set to modern. Uh, again, that is uh, where you see the trees and the, uh, uh, the sky background up there. Um, you can change that uh, if you want the poly HD I don't like it uh, that's what the poly HD looks like um, uh, again I don't really like that that much okay I'm gonna go back in uh, let's see I do want to change that back to what I had it at, and we're good to go. All right, uh, I'm trying to think if there's any more custom settings. Uh, security, uh, it's just standard. Um, under buttons, um, there's your nav bar button controls. Uh, you can color them if you want. Uh, you can change the size if you want. Uh, double tap to sleep. Uh, here's your recent long press action. Uh, they also have uh, pie control in this. Um, Team ASIC is known for their uh, their pie control. Uh, it does work. Uh, I I was playing with it when I first loaded it. That's one of the things I test out uh, first off. If a ROM says they have it, uh, I like to test it. Um, I don't use it. Uh, I'm not a Pi user, uh, but I will tell you guys it works, so it's there. Uh, here's your power menu. Uh, these are the options that you have. And there's uh, your switch for uh, end call uh, by pressing the power button. Uh, then your uh, press power button twice for the camera. Uh, and then you have your volume button controls. Lock screen, uh, basically the same as they had in the developer options. Uh, it's just uh, uh, it's your standard lock screen settings. Um, it, well, I guess I you shouldn't say standard. Um, it's a little more than what you would get with stock. Notifications. Uh, here's where you're, you would set your heads up. Uh, do not disturb your uh, do not disturb access what apps can uh, access that uh, let's see uh, and you can do all your filtering of your notifications and stuff like that I don't use heads up uh, but it's there if you guys want it it's there uh, here is your uh, your theme chooser um, and uh, of course since this is CM based it does come with uh, sign in your mods uh, you know CM 13 theme engine uh, I just love it. Um, I'm not a lover, or I, I don't like layers at all. I mean, I, I I really loathe layers. I really hope they do not go in that direction. Um, and if they do, you know, if, if they could just make it work so it is as fluid um, and as um, user-friendly 
uh, as the uh, signage and mod steam engine is, then I would probably use it. But uh, you have to admit, I mean, it's as easy as, you know, you pick a theme, hit what you want, and hit apply, and it's done. No rebooting. Even though you should reboot after applying a theme, you know, I'm going to step off my high horse now. Uh, or my soapbox, uh, I guess, uh, and quit going on. Because I do know that there are uh, people out there, um, you guys that are watching these videos, that like layers. Um, and it is a personal preference. Here's your display and lights. Notification lights do work very well, by the way. That's my standard setup. And then sounds. Which is pretty basic. Uh, here's your advanced options. It's only one. Your camera shutter sound. Uh, your other sounds. This is uh, the uh, other settings that you would have where you can uh, turn off your touch sounds, uh, vibrate, uh, you know, Volume adjust sound, stuff like that. That's where you do it at. And that, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, it is Signage and Mod uh, 13 Plus is basically what this is. Anybody that's run, uh, that has run Team Essex before uh, knows what they're all about. Uh, they're an outstanding ROM, very solid. Uh, they don't usually throw a lot of things in uh, that don't work. Um, I've had zero issues with this ROM so far, uh, at least... Uh, with the ROM. Now, I have had some issues with the themes, but uh, you can't really blame the ROM for that. Uh, some of the themes are still trying to catch up uh, with the update to Marshmallow, and there is a difference, a uh, slight difference, but it's still a difference nonetheless. Um, and uh, some of the older uh, CM12 themes, uh, some of them work, some of them don't. So, uh, guys, I hope you liked this video. Uh, again, if you like to give it a thumbs up, um, and I really appreciate, uh, everybody out there that has subscribed to me. Um, again, this, uh, was Team Essex, um, unofficial signage in Mod 13, uh, for the Nexus 6, and I will see you, uh, on the next one, and you guys all take care, and Merry Christmas.